What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you the junkie quickie, the quickie junkie, the junk in your face. I have no idea what I'm going to call this segment where I just do a quick little video on Tuesday, well, Tuesday night, who knows, maybe Wednesday morning, who knows when this is going to be uploaded. Hopefully it's Tuesday night still, at least here in California. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. It's just going to be a quick video where I talk about... You know, the stuff in the beginning of the week, like I was talking about in my vlog and everything like that. I'm not going to bore you with what I'm doing, but yes, let's talk some movies, guys. I appreciate you clicking in. Let's do this. All right, first, of course, we have Batman vs. Superman news. Well, kind of, kind of Batman vs. Superman news because this has to do with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, that beast. That's right. He actually, a uh, new Hercules uh, trailer landed today. I didn't write it up on the site. I meant to. Maybe I'll get to it tomorrow. It's pretty interesting stuff. You probably got, you guys probably already saw it. A little weird when he yelled out, I am Hercules, but uh, I think I'll dig it. It looks a lot better than that Kellen Lutz movie, that's for fucking sure. Anyways, when it comes to Dwayne Johnson, there's been so many rumors and speculation of what the hell he's going to play in the DC world, because we know he's been meeting with DC and Warner Brothers, and everybody was speculating, oh, is he going to play the Jon Stewart Green Lantern, what's going on here, but I just, you know what, there's just, it, it didn't fit. It didn't fit, I mean, it, it, it kind of did, but he's just too big. He's too big to be that character. I don't know what it is. It's just, ah, I just didn't like it. So, turns out he uh, he was at CinemaCon and he got interviewed. And uh, basically, what was going on in going on here? The first question was asked was, "Let's address the green <laughs> the green elephant in the room. Are you going to be the Green Lantern?" He laughs and he says, "No, he's not going to." And he basically just says. When he sat down with DC, he it's been years, apparently, and they're just trying to find the right character. What the right character would be for him. That's another thing, you know, he just he just wanted the character to be right for him. And then, of course, the, the interviewer asked, does he wear a ring? Just to go back to the Green Lantern stuff, but he said no. And he said, here are the three qualities. First quality we are looking for, what we were looking for, was that he had to be extremely complex and have a lot going on. What that does for me as an actor and the studio is it gives us space that we can explore, his complexities. The other quality was that he had to, the character, we were the character we were looking for, had to be well known but never brought to life. So that means this is going to be a new character that we've not seen in the movies before and we have seen the Green Lantern technically then what that does again is it gives me a little bit of space and we have talked about personality it just gives me a chance to put it in put an imprint into his personality with a set of tools that I could bring to the table and put a very unique twist on his personality but it will still pay homage to who he is third thing and the most important is he is a badass motherfucker okay Okay, on a Superman level of power, okay? Boom. It's gonna be Lobo, man. There's no there's no doubt in my mind. You know, this it's been rumored before, and Lobo is a big, huge, crazy villain, and I guarantee you this is who he's gonna play. This is this will be a stretch, because he's gonna be all decked out in makeup, it's gonna be crazy. And yeah, there wasn't much else to talk about. Um, he's totally denied the whole Green Lantern thing, which I totally agree. I don't think that's going to happen. There's a possibility he might show up maybe in a cameo or like a secret scene for Batman vs Superman, but I'm thinking Justice League. He'll be one of the villains in the Justice League. That's got to be it. And apparently he even hinted at maybe in Comic-Con in July, you might hear more about it. I'm excited to see what he's going to play. I think it's going to be Lobo. Is it Lobo's? I don't know. It's Lobo's? No, I think it's just Lobo. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the character, but I've, I, uh, as soon as I heard the rumors, I kind of checked up on him. I'm like, yeah, he fits. He fits the attributes, okay? He fits it. He fits the profile. So that's my guess. Let me know what you guys think. Then we move over to the Avengers world and a slew of set pictures from the Italy set have surfaced, giving us, well, let's see. We got some Hawkeye. We got some Scarlet Witch. Oh, I'm telling you what, Elizabeth Olsen, she's a hottie. And she's looking pretty good in that uh, stuff. But hey, we got something for the ladies. Mr. Aaron Taylor Johnson as Quicksilver. Look at that flowing silvery hair and stuff. Man, there you go. Kick ass with silver hair. And then look at this. We got some Ultron, possibly. Yes, that looks like it might be. Obviously, we know that... Um, we heard that James Spader, of course, he's playing Ultron. He's going to be motion captured for the role. It's going to be mainly CGI. I think it's going to be all CGI, of course. But, you know, for practical effects, sometimes you need a stand-in. This is probably some stunt dude just wearing just some armor they needed to just get some practical effects in there. And you know what? I'm getting pretty excited. Lots coming out of here. There's also video, too. I'll have both both the articles I have with all these photos and video down below. So check them out. Let me know what you think. Tell me how excited you are.
reboots and remakes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hey, look at that! It's Megan Fox and Will Arnett. For yeah, that's apparently a shot from the teaser trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that debuted last night at CinemaCon. I am so jealous. For anybody who is there right now or last night, Jesus Christ, man. I gotta go one of these years. Next year, for sure, guys. I'm going. But yeah, that is a screenshot of Megan Fox as April O'Neil. Obviously, you could tell because she's wearing a leather yellow jacket. That indicates that she's April O'Neil. She looks nothing like the character from the, from the cartoon at all. It's pretty ridiculous. But hey, it's got Will Arnett in that little frame right there. So yeah, you gotta love it. Will Arnett. He's, a, he's an awesome dude. He's funny as hell. So why not? I'm still trying to look for that. I'm trying to sniff out that freaking teaser trailer i'm surprised nobody has posted it yet but I'm, I'm gonna find it guys as soon as i do i'm going to post it and then keeping on reboots we finally have our answer of who the fuck arnold schwarzenegger is going to play or what he's going to play in terminator genesis or terminator the rebooted fucking oh, who knows what the hell it's going to be called but he spoke with mtv news and we already know that the movie is going to start filming next month. And yeah, April. Yeah, next month. And then there was that pressing question like, what the hell? He's 66 years old. They're not. How, what is he going to play? And there was rumors that I kept hearing that he was going to play like the character that the T-800s were based off of. Then I come to find out tonight, tonight, like literally 26 minutes ago, that they actually had a deleted scene in Terminator 3 that showed this character who the T-800s were based off of, and it was called Sergeant Candy, and <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. I'm not going to lie. I have the article down below. You should watch the video. I have it attached to it. It's actually pretty hilarious, and you can see actually why they're not going to go with this story idea because it's they, they did it for a comedic uh, everything. It's, it, it, you gotta watch it. It's pretty damn funny, but this is what Arnold had to say. Terminator deals a lot with time travel, so there will be a younger T-800, and then what the model does later on when he gets... Okay, that's just, that's getting too dumb. Okay, when he gets reprogrammed and who he gets a hold of, so it will be, it'll be all kinds of interesting twists in the movie, which I like that because they're going to kind of do what Star Trek did and everything like that. And it says the way the character is written, it's a machine underneath, it's this metal skeleton, but above that is human flesh. And the Terminator's flesh ages, just like any human being's flesh. Maybe not as fast, but it definitely ages. There you go. Boom. Right there, guys. I just hit something on my desk. But yes, there we go. I mean, I guess that's the only way they can really pull this off. Because if they do some kind of CGI thing like they did in Salvation, I thought I, that was actually cool. Probably one of my favorite parts of that movie. But I guess that works, you know. It's, he's a machine underneath, but the skin is aged. So that's how they're going to do it. But obviously, they're still going to have some kind of young Arnold in there. CGI mock-up. I mean, it'll look a lot better, I think. You know, if they do like the Tron Legacy kind of type of thing. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That's our answer. An old Terminator. Like I actually said, Grandpa Terminator. And it was saggy man boobs. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, that's all the movie news I wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, make sure you hit that like, some thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest movie news, trailers, and everything. There's actually two big trailers that uh, showed up. This week or in the past couple days, which was uh, X-Men, the new X-Men Days of Future Past trailer and the Tom Cruise movie Edge of Tomorrow, which looks really good. I'm looking forward to that, especially with this trailer. They really go in depth with what the story is about. So I suggest checking it out. Well, all right, guys, I am David, the film junkie. And I brought you uh, hopefully a quick video, but it's probably not. But it's just it's a simple video. That's all that matters, right? Simplicity. All right, guys, talk to you later.